Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask that we can get our hands on. We did most of the masks on Amazon, so we're reaching out to the world, finding masks that we have yet to test because they're not on Amazon. Today we are looking at the well before mask. We'll talk about the story of this company in just a second, but first let's open up this bag and put a mask in the clamper. Whoa, individually wrapped. That is dynamite. We use a lot of plastic, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, it's like, what color is that? Blue? Blue. Blue, blue, blue. It's cool. And they actually have it. And we'll let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this thing works, check out that link. Well before, uh, used to be called Honest PPE, but they actually got sued by the Honest People, Jessica Alba's company, so they had to change their name. True story. Uh, so they came up with this name well before. It's a great brand, look at this. They did not exist before the pandemic, but they now have like 30,000 some products. Uh, many of them uh, their own. And they're based in Dallas, that's why I know them. Uh, they've actually, their founders come and toured our factory uh, here behind me. And uh, they seem to be really good guys. They were the only place that you could get legitimate PPE during the pandemic. And now they're trying to be something that lasts, uh, you know, after. And it seems like they're doing a pretty good job. Let's look at the actual bag itself. So it comes in this bag, they're talking about KN95, I like the bag, non-medical, wellbefore.com, great domain, great brand, odorless, uh, we shall see. I mean, as far as like the mask manufacturers that are out there, these guys seem to be, I mean, I, I did sort of know them. I've met, like I said, the founder, but like just looking at like how everyone else packages things and how they're doing it, they seem to be like really above board. Made in China. And then they've got everything rewritten on the individual package. And then they've got another quality certificate. Y'all using a lot of paper. So they, they are almost following the KN95 standard. So, um, ah, they're so close. So you need, um, you need three things to be literally printed on the mask. This is not technically a KN95, so we do have to ding them for that, unfortunately. In order to be a KN95, you need to say KN95, right? Good job. You need to have the manufacturer name. The other thing that they need to put on there is GB2626-2019. Now they're probably thinking that they did that um, by adding it on the package, but it has to be printed on the mask. All right, let's try that. Oh, that is really nicely put together. Wow, that is a... Oh, I've never had that happen before. What? 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 <laughs> it's an eye mask now. Dude, what? That is totally new. Oh man, look at that. That seam, I mean, that's really bad because I mean, I'm sure that's a one-off thing. Uh, because, But I, I mean, I've tested like at least 100 KN95s at this point and I've never had anything like that happen. But it's really bad because obviously I didn't tug that hard. So if that happens, it could, that could come off on your face, and obviously that would be really bad that I've never seen before. So we're gonna try it again. We're gonna give them a chance on this. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, one time thing, one time thing, one time thing. Okay, okay, let's try this on. Oh, that looks really cool though. Look like a blue ninja. <sighs> so it does have a pretty strong plastic uh, Chinese plastic smell. And I only bring that up because it says odorless right on the package. And I just like, I don't like when manufacturers do that because if it's not odorless, it's fine. Like it's not that much of a smell, but a lot of people complain about this smell right here. And uh, you know, like, and, and it's actually part of the CAN 95 process too, because like we have a different, we make a CAN 95 and ours is, is uh, it's, it's not the Chinese polypropylene smell, but it is like a, it's like a, a glue smell that we have. I don't say odorless on the box for that reason. In fact, I tell people that it has a slight odor because the worst thing is when something says no smell and then it shows up and has a smell. So I don't like that. And look at that. They far exceeded it. 
98.220. The other thing was uh, on the breathability side, it was a little high. It was 167 pascals. We like to see it, uh, you know, below 150 pascals. That said, it is within the standard of KN95, so that's total leg totally legitimate. Thank you well before for uh, making all of the PPE available that you did during the pandemic. Uh, you guys were probably shipping more PPE directly to consumers uh, and hospitals than, than anybody else I had talked to. So, so nice work for that. And awesome that you've put together your own mask being made in China, uh, which seems to be a, a pretty quality product. Um, I think that you know after you get this first run and these bugs worked out, it's gonna be an amazing mask. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next test, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. See you then.